and uh, what are the typical in you know, organized structure and ewm organized structure uh, so how we can integrate between the systems see this is the typical organizational structure in you know, right so this is the s4 system you can call as the erp architecture okay so you know the company code is the highest level and where you connect the plants and again storage location how you are going to interface this s4 system to ewm system this is organized structure how you are going to connect with a dummy warehouse in a s4 system or a s4 system to ewm system this is the main warehouse but how you are going to interface between this one how you are going to interface between this to here we can call a storage locations in a ewm we can call as the availability group okay see that's why the slide terminology will be different but we will go deep dive and we will explain thoroughly you know in a better understanding way you never feel like you know something you know oh what is the difference between this very very precisely we will explain so that you know you may not even confuse a single things okay how the interface you are going to manage what are the you can see by looking only you know that what are the organized structure you need in s4 side and you know what is the ewm also what are the organized structure you need supply chain you need warehouse availability group stock types here also plant these are all you need to maintain organized structure and uh, i'm jumping in ewm side and what are the structural element ewm side okay majority we focus ewm storage types see in any typical warehouse you know it may not be one or two warehouse storage type even door is also storage type even inbound is also storage type the consolidation work is storage type floor is also uh, storage type even racks is also storage types so depends on the um 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 parameters you, know, you need to define whether a door or deconsolidation work center inbound so you can always do that the lowest one is a quant and before you can say bin also okay the lowest in the warehouse you know definitely we can call as a bin or in some time we can call as a quant the lowest uh, structure in the warehouse okay and uh, more or less you know is a, is a same structural element and there is activity area one more activity area the beauty of ewm is you can combine see though is a different storages okay so th this entire one i can i can i can assign as one activity area so that i can perform inventory and the same thing you know even some of the same bins even other bins i can assign another activity that picking activity area so the activity area in a ewm no we will use extensively activity area um where you know uh, using this activity area how we can how we can perform inventory how we can do picking parking even um, any operations okay we can activity area means nothing in a layman term you combine the bins you combine several storage bins into one activity area you can perform picking you can perform inventory and so that you know you can the overall is no advantage right overall you see what is going to get benefit what you are going to benefit you are going to benefit improve the various operations 